I'm a people. I live in my car. And this is Interstate 80 in Wyoming. But today we just got this busted out gas station to explore where I'm harvesting sunshine. In this video, we'll be traveling east along Interstate 80, starting here, stopping in Rollins, Wyoming, and sleeping tonight at the Elk Mountain Overlook rest area. Should be an exciting trip full of fun times and exploration. This old gas station that we're at has a lot of places to explore. It looks like we might be able to get up that old tower over there. And then we can go try and peek inside those windows. And there's an outbuilding in the back to check out. Some stickers. The lock has been cut. Gotta get a good shot of the interstate from up here. Desolate. The Oregon Trail used to run right along there. 150 years ago, there would have been wagons as far as the eye could see. Seems safe enough. There's the outbuilding. There's the gas station. All abandoned, God only knows how long ago, heading back down. We'll go check out that outbuilding next. I ain't gonna go inside it, but we'll check it out. Oh look, there's a boat behind the gas station too. That looks seaworthy. Maybe this outbuilding housed the employees at one time. This is a completely remote area. Like I said, there's no services for like 60 miles. There's nothing out here but ranches. So it would make sense for the employees of this gas station to live right here. Let's see if we can get a look in the window. Like I said, I don't think I want to go in there. And I'm a little bit nervous about walking outside here for snakes. <laughs> Very cautious about snakes today. Here's another window. Yeah, pretty interesting to think that somebody would have lived here, way out here in this desolate landscape. It's hard to imagine what a life like that would have been like. I probably would have enjoyed it, to be honest, but apparently there wasn't enough business to uh, support this place, so it shut down eventually, like most places do. And this here looks like it. One time it was some kind of oil derrick. It's not moving anything out of the ground now, but I guess that's what that was. And it looks like, I might be wrong, but it looks like there might be a few RV hookups here too underneath these trees, which would have been really cool. You know, if you were employed here and you had a constant flow of RVs rolling through and different stories to listen to every day and just being a part of that traveler vibe of energy and lifestyle would have been exciting. Yeah, see what I mean? Here's a concrete pad here in the back area. I don't know, it looks like they could have been benches underneath those trees at one time. 
and then maybe there was a back patio sitting area and the SS sunken and now here we are we've come full circle we are back out on the interstate and this is the front of the property of course it has seen better days but we'll take a walk up to these windows and see what the inside of this place looks like Check some of these other windows. The ceiling's caving. I gotta be careful, there's a lot of glass underfoot. Virginia bound, it says on the wall. I like exploring these kinds of places. I don't know why, that's a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, the adventure here at exit 150 is over. We're gonna head on down the road to Rollins and investigate that small Wyoming town. I bet there's some cool things we can poke our head into there. I recommend exit 150 if you're ever traveling through Wyoming. This would be an excellent, excellent overnight stop if you are a self-contained vehicle uh, right here along the interstate. Anyways, let's uh, go check out Rollins. We'll make the magic happen by YouTube. It's lunchtime, and since I live in my car, that means finding a beautiful park to eat in. We just gotta pack this stuff up and then find a table. What a process. This picnic table right here in the shade will work wonderful. Perfect spot. Ham and bean soup. Better cheddar sausages. Very simple. Put a little water in there, rinse it around. Just like that. Gonna cut up a better cheddar sausage with some scissors. Right into the soup like that. Everything's fully cooked, we're just heating it up. Hobo meal style in the park. That was easy. Low heat, obviously, on this kind of stove. And we'll just stir it every few minutes. Simple meal for a simple man. I recently had my first fan interaction out in the wild while I was in Pinedale last week. Shout out Hans, it was great to see you. I was sitting along the side of the road and he had recognized me from my videos and stopped to say hi. I really appreciate that kind of interaction. That's the first time on my small channel that somebody has recognized me out in the wild. It was really cool. Anyways, Hans really wanted to support me. He was looking for ways to help, if you will. And, you know, I've created 77 videos now and all on my own dime have spent thousands of dollars and I do it because I love to create content and I'm really enthusiastic about it. I'm so happy that people enjoy my content and that they would want to help me succeed and help me on my journey.
So that's why I've set up a PayPal account and I need to set up a Venmo as well, but I left a link down in the description for those special people that wanna help support me on my journey. I'm gonna enjoy the ham and beans and sausage and we're gonna Google search what we can do here in Rollins while we're here before we head on the rest of our journey. But I wanna thank you to Hans and all my loyal supporters. Okay, I was just Google searching Rollins, Wyoming for things to do and I found this awesome Frontier Prison and Museum where they give you a guided tour for $12 and they tour you the cell blocks and a old school working gas chamber. Checking out an old prison sounds super interesting and I didn't even know it existed. Let's see if we have the 12 bucks to go do this. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 143 dollars. We got to make it from Wyoming back to Denver on this money. I think we got 12 dollars for a museum. It's hard to starve to death. Real quickly before we leave, let's take a look around this park. This is Washington Park here in Rawlins, Wyoming. We had lunch here on this picnic table. They've got tennis courts over here. Here's six horseshoe courts. And right next to that is five cornhole courts. There's a bathroom in this building. A pavilion up on the hill provided by the Lions Club. And there's plenty of seating, both sunny and shady. Here's a charcoal grill. And here's a frisbee golf net. Washington Park was a great place to enjoy lunch, but let's go check out this Frontier Prisoner Museum. Did I drink something red? And we've got our $12 in hand, but before we even go inside, let's look out front and see what kind of cool shit we can see out here. Right here in the front is a small building with these windows inside, which would have housed a bunch of offices. And behind that, a wall with a gun tower. And up above the wall, I assume we're seeing the second story of the housing blocks. Let's head inside now. I don't know what to expect. I've never been here before, but like I said, I got my $12. We'll try to be respectful of the other patrons and film anything we can. Apparently we can see inside the housing units and there's also a gas chamber where they executed prisoners. I'm really excited. See you guys inside. Pieces of rope used in the hanging of men and the blindfolds they would use to cover their eyes. Look at all these confiscated shanks. Man, they look dangerous. I wouldn't want to come face to face with an angry man with one of those. There's some homemade pipes confiscated from the inmates. 
tattoo guns, a small pistol, a stinger, pills, joints. This is a really cool museum, well worth the 12 bucks. We get to look around like four rooms before we even start. I signed up, the next tour is at 2.30, so in 20 minutes we'll go on the tour. There's all the people that were killed in Wyoming's gas chamber. Kinda creepy AF. So the story is here inside of the Wyoming Frontier Prison Museum is that I was allowed to film in the very first little sections where they had museum style uh, displays but as soon as we went on the guided tour I wasn't allowed to film I was only allowed to take pictures so that's what I did I can't recommend this museum enough I would drive this museum was so good and entertaining that I would drive out of my way for it but anyway uh, we still live in a car and we need to find a place to sleep tonight. I think we're going to go to the Elk Mountain Rest Area and sleep tonight, which is on the interstate. It should be fun. Thank you guys for following along. We're going to head over there now. I will see you at the rest area. We have made it to the Wagon Hound Rest Area here on Interstate 80 and it is windy. It is so windy, there is this plaque that literally is called Wyoming Winds. There are windmills on the horizon. And the flags are flagging. But it's chill here though. And we're already harvesting solar to top off our battery. I'm hungry, let's get some dinner going. We'll have dinner up here in this pavilion. It's got a table and a little fire pit. That's pretty cool. If it wasn't so dry, maybe I'd start a fire. This is our spread for a hobo dinner tonight. We got more sausages, just like we had for lunch, the better cheddars. Got the little can of baked beans, Bush's original, with the pop top, I love that. So we're gonna have that. Uh, pork and beans if you will but a little fancier than just pork and beans and then we're going to throw some pepper jack cheese on top of that pork and beans and we also got some macaroni salad here with some peppers so uh, we'll be using the fry it pan tonight instead of the pot and I'm gonna cut all that up and cook it up real quick should be banging Dinner is cooking. First, we're gonna brown our sausage. The interstate is moving along out there. And I'm just reminiscing about how wonderful that prison tour was today while dinner is cooking. It really was an amazing tour. He took us down several cell blocks. He took us to the infirmary, saw where people got hung, saw the gas chamber, saw the yard. Dude, we got the grand, grand, oh, saw the commissary, the showers, the hole. Yeah, man, that was a wild prison. It was in operation until 1981. We're gonna dump in our bushes, baked beans. Love these little cans. 
sizzle McDrizzle. Add some water to that. Squish it around. Same deal right in there. We'll put our lid back on, let that marinate a few minutes. Sizzle it up. Stir it once. Alright, we got it up to a rolling boil. We're gonna add some of this pepper jack cheese right to the top. Bang. A little more. Bang. Love cheese. A little more. Bang. I'm gonna eat this right inside the skillet. The fancy places charge extra if you eat right out of the skillet. Let's try it. Oh. Very cheesy, that's a good sign. Mm. Yeah. I'm feeling good and full. I've had enough, so I'm gonna clean this up. After I clean this up, I can show you around a little bit. We're losing sun on our panels here. Cleanup of this entire system is very easy. I just use the paper towels to wipe everything down and out. If it's really hard, I'll use a paper towel but, or a wipe here, but I try to stay away from it. I'd rather use a water and paper towel so I don't have any chemicals. And then everything just kind of nests inside one another. Put that in there. And put that in there, and put that in there. And then we're gonna put all that inside this bag, but I need two hands. Now everything's packed up. Nice and conveniently in one of these reusable Walmart bags. Oh yeah, the solar is completely in the shadows by now. and see what we got. Oh, we got it up to 50%. But zero coming in right now, it's in the shadows. Turn it off. The wind is still gusting ridiculously and it makes it really hard for me to communicate into the microphone when I'm out there. So we're just gonna sit in the car for this scene. They actually have warnings on the interstate today, gusts of 50 miles an hour plus, I guess it can go and blow trucks around, blow them over. It's a whole nuisance up here how windy it is in this part of Wyoming. But uh, there is an overlook over here. This is called Elk Mountain, I believe is in the distance. So we're gonna go over this Elk Mountain overlook and see what we can see. Apologies for the wind advance. Let's go see what's going on around the neighborhood here at the Elk Mountain. See the wind is still whipping pretty strong. Dumpsters. If you're really trashy, they got dumpsters. cell phone tower right there it means there's a great connection here it's very nice and this is the path down to this elk mountain lookout area with long distance viewfinders I won't be able to show you through them the camera's not capable for that but you know these things and some boards over here talking about elk and fish and other 
animals. Dun, dun, dun. Man, like I said, Elk Mountain is out here right into the sun. Way out there. Every winter time, the elk will migrate here and feed out in the pastures, but it's not winter time right now. It's summer and they're way up in the forest. There's nothing to see over there. We'll head back over here to our car. This old man is walking a dog and he is hating that I'm filming. He keeps scowling at me. <laughs> I try to avoid him as best I can, but... There's more pavilions, each one with a picnic table and a fireplace, exactly like the one we had dinner at. And this building over here is the bathroom. There's the there is a lot of oil gas and coal industry in this area. And yeah, these are the bathrooms. Just standard. We won't even go in there. I don't need to use the bathroom, but you know what a bathroom looks like. More trucks parked over there. And the windmills out in the distance. And that's how far we're parked from the bathrooms, right there. The sun is setting on another day. And our bed is already made. And we're just gonna sleep right here tonight. It should be nice and quiet. The trucks are far enough away. We had a really long day, we started 160 miles away and traveled all across southern Wyoming down the interstate by stopping at that the first stop was the gas station which was totally blowed out cashed out and awesome the second stop in Rollins was pretty cool too at the prison I can't say enough nice things about it and then sleeping here at this interstate rest area is gonna be fun too so beware is the moral of the story just like the thumbnail says beware if you sleep at an interstate rest area you may meet somebody like me also sleeping at an interstate rest area <laughs> this is a cool journey like i said we're heading out of wyoming we're going back to denver for the winter so we can work and save up some more money but uh this is going to be it for this video thank you guys for following along don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And yo, check out my PayPal, bro.